everybody! Had a little almond stuck in my throat. Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lang, Gungeon. We finished our hunt. What do you got? It's not hit Gemini craze. It's got to be better. A shambling round. So that's what we do for the rest of our life. You give me occasional hegemony credits. We're gonna do another Paradox Rat Advanced Dragon run today. I screwed up the last run, but also the last run kind of sucked. Combination of me being bad and the game being bad. Uh, or the, the run being bad. The game is obviously great. It's not really like a Freudian slip, because you're like, you know, I think it's pretty clear I'm enjoying myself by the sound when I died last episode. No! <laughs> How is 38 special? That's the real question. I don't mind starting with heavy bullets. 38 special seems almost... Pardon me, dude, the almonds. Uh, almost identical to the DPS of our starting pistol, which is probably not fair, but it does, it has higher shot speed. I can't deny the shot speed. Now, when you do it like that, it actually makes it look like it has lower DPS <laughs> than your starting pistol. I'll die you right out of that gate, ya boy. Oh, good Ontario boy. Va vampire showing up in the clutch. Look at him. You gotta love it, dude. I gotta hydrate here. Give me a second. The guy is, it's like they're unskinned almonds, unpeeled. It's the way I prefer them, but after a long day of recording, I think some of the almond flakes, they kind of stuck to your esophagus. You wouldn't, uh, you know, you might be like, NL, that's never happened to me. Go talk. Please don't break my water barrel. You broke the water barrel, you son of a gun. Go, go talk for like, you know, 12 hours today. Then eat a bunch of almonds. Then talk for another hour after that. And we, you know, go. Why don't you tell me about how your throat feels after that? And then, once you've done that, rinse and repeat every day for the past eight years. You tell me how good you like the almonds after. Anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm just complaining about the complaining, which means you know you shouldn't be complaining about is a straw man argument. Ooh, easy there, my friend. No one was complaining in the first place. Obviously, we're gonna play the vampire. I think um, the crestfaller. I give it a 50-50 because it may, and we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of cases. It's the main reason I'm interested in maybe buying the crestfaller. But uh, I think it might stand a chance to. Uh, actually freeze the fire and like get rid of the fire don't know if it'll actually work but i i hope it will because it's really my own fault that the oubliette got torched there but it's a pain in the butt one way or the other so we're i don't know it's, it's kind of a touchy situation because whatever we do right now is gonna... Uh, uh, yikes. I don't even care if you take the ammo. It's gonna potentially make like a really big difference on the run. If we use the Vampire, we could definitely get the Crestfaller. Probably would be our boss killing weapon. Raise our chances of getting the Flawless, but... If we get uh, hits, we could die. Depends how low, uh, low we go. Plus, it would ruin the gun force. How much are you charging for this son of a gun? 45 bucks. I will not allow it. Please, water. Work your way into the esophageal system. <sighs> Life sucks, then you're jammed. That's why we get high. Because you never know when you're going to go. That's Nas. And not Lil Nas X. I got my horses in the back. The original, regular size Nas. So, obviously, we've ruined the gun force, but, like, on purpose. Where's the... Oh, there it is. 
Please work. <sighs> Either way, it's still worth doing. Um, having ruined the gun force, we probably should have opened the chest to raise our chances of a flawless. There's still an off chance. We get some... Maybe a blank can do it. I'm not going to bet on it. I, I'd rather use my blanks on this fight if necessary. But, um... You know, we don't have to go to the Oubliette. I would just really like to go to the Oubliette because, uh... You know, I mean, it, it's, it's a free floor except for the cost of the keys. Moreover, uh, it's very helpful getting enough casings. very helpful towards getting enough casings, you know what I mean? Establish the relationship between those two words. Um, but if we can't get there, we're still probably going to get enough casings just by playing the vampire. And I, I can't really be mad about the Crestfaller. We also got a gun. Uh, we also got a... Was that a golden casing? I think it was. The gun is the Evolver, which is really good. So we're going to open this. Yo. Dragonfire is pretty good. Might be better than pretty good. Take an ammo for the Crestfaller. Um, I'm assuming we can't literally fight fire with fire, but I'll tell you what. Take me back. Use a blank here. We already found our secret room. Hey. Yeah, well, that's Gungeon. I love Gungeon. Wouldn't, wouldn't trade it for the friggin' world. However, it is annoying sometimes. When you can't get to the special thing because you weren't paying attention for half a second. Oh, no. I'm willing, to, I, I'm willing to go one and a half. Just in case we come across a rogue jammed enemy. I don't want to risk it too much. Uh, and where are we at here? We got two keys. We got two chests. I'll open them. So you're guaranteed to be a passive or, or an active for that matter. And uh, roll bomb I think is horrible. And I'm not afraid who knows it. And I guess you're 50-50. And it's a Chloranthi ring, which I think is very good. Or at least decent. Alrighty. We'll head down to the next floor. We already have more than enough uh, casings. Nothing wrong with that. So, let me just think. I think we want to use the Evolver, honestly. I think it gets very, very good. Um, It's an exciting room, even though there's, like, literally no way to get hit unless you screw up badly. Um, tell ya. I think we actually want to use our best gun for these guys. The dragon fire is almost certainly going to be our boss killer. But the Evolver, if we can get it to, you know, good damage status. The tentacle... Or not, uh, it was a, becomes a beam next. It levels up quickly, too. Relatively, at least. Hold on. Could be here. Candles don't count as blocking. Um, levels up real quick compared to the freaking, uh, Gunder Fury or whatever the heck the WoW gun is called. But it does lose the levels, too, if I remember correctly. I, I, I could be wrong. Okay, sponge gun is sponge worthy. There's nothing wrong with this. I need that key. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I, I wish I had that on the soundboard. Although it is not my intellectual property. How do we not get hit? Let's just thank the Claranthi ring for that. Even though I don't know if it actually did it for us. Now, despite this not being... I mean, by losing out on the Oubliette, it's a big loss, honestly, to not be able to go to the Oubliette floor. I know there's a buffer somewhere in here. It's a big loss. However... I think we're actually stronger on this run... Whoa, than we ever were on our previous run. Already. 
and we're only a floor in. So, just goes to show you, you know, things change. You know, the seed does determine a lot in Gungeon. It's fairly ridiculous to suggest I've had like so many bad seeds in a row that have led to these relatively poor performances uh, on occasion. Poor, poor performance, but like not necessarily poor outcome. Because we've had a lot of runs with great outcomes where, you know, at least early we didn't necessarily play very well. Obviously, we'll go through with this. But, uh... Dude, I'm loving these heavies. You think these are g they're gonna sneak through? They will sneak through. Um... This run is... Oh, thank you. Definitely above average. But, like, simultaneously... Oh, it's so slow. No, that's okay. That's okay. Three. We get a green chest? I thought three was gold, dude. Rubidine prototype is fine, though. Um, I think this run is, is above average for certain. But I don't think I'm playing better. You know, it just goes to show you how much the run, especially, like, the guns you get early, like, how much that actually impacts your performance. Because I here's the, the gist of what I'm trying to say, I guess, is that I think I've been playing... Probably a little uh, worse than usual in the last, you know, three of the last four, let's say. But uh, simultaneously, I also think that, you know, if we look like we're playing better now, part of the reason for that is because I've, uh, I've gotten such incredible items early on. So, what I'm trying to say is I still suck. <laughs> No, what I'm trying to say is the circumstances of my run early on have dictated my ability to play better. They've influenced it. And, you know, there's probably like a lesson for that in real life somewhere, but, you know, we don't need to go into it. Just meditate on that one for a little bit, you know what I mean? Now. We got Snail Gun. I definitely, you know, should we be able to afford it? I wouldn't mind picking up the dang old stout bullets, but for now... Let's enjoy our last boss fight for now that we feel comfortable using blanks on, i.e. a very good opportunity for us to get a flawless and uh, we definitely love dragon fire. It's one heck of a gun. One of the best things about it is the fact that it lights enemies on fire and doesn't afraid of anything. Easy fight. Didn't even use, a, you know, a third of our ammo. Laser sight. Did we pick up a gun on this? We did pick up Rubidine prototype. Yeah, you got me. Well. So we'll take dragon fire ammo. Um... We will uh, open probably all of our chests on this floor, unless the, you know you can come up with a compelling reason not to. I don't think you can. It already, just look at this. Five ammo clears a room. Yeah, we're early, but like, oh, we got tongue. Tongue is fine, dude. I don't know. I don't think we get a synergy from it because it's not a bullet, but. You know, I don't think we get the heavy bullet synergy, I mean. I think we there's a reasonable chance we might be able to afford stout bullets. It's just that easy. There is absolutely no way we'll be able to afford... Wait a minute, we got a cool casing there. You cost 62? 62. Nah, 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 nah. Alright. Uh, secret rooms are a possibility. You know, what do you, what do you think about a secret room... Uh, in here. You don't like it. It's fair. Full Metal Jacket is interesting. Um, at least it gives us armor. And then, actually, Grey Mauser. Check this out. Your boy's ascended. Steal it. Now. Do you need to steal stout bullets at the cost of a single curse? Probably not. But I got heavy bullets. I thought, you know what? 
I can make up my own synergies. I don't need the game to make up the synergies for me. Now I got stouts and I got heavies. You know what you get when you got that? You got thick bullets. Absolutely. You can spell it out. This is the one time I'm going to allow it. I'll tell you, these enemies are not standing up to the heat. So far, so good. You gotta love that. Free key as well. Now, until we fire a gun with real bullets, I wouldn't, uh, you know, be either stoked or displeased with our, with our setup. Didn't see you there. Um, but, so far, I feel like I got very little to complain about. I don't know what you do. It's like if I, if I can give you six guns, is that how that works? If I give you six guns, what do you give me? Knowing uh, the way the secret rooms work in this game. What was it? Hey, you give me six guns, you get uh, a blank. Okay. We... I mean, we obviously don't dislike this final form. But I don't think we like it that much um, for room clearing purposes. Especially against very mobile enemies. Look at the... Look at the mass on these bullets, dude. Been cultivating. Been doing a dirty bulk for eight months. But you know there's some functional mass in there. Hey, honestly, it was worth the curse not for the item, but to be able to make the jokes. Cool casing. Still remember, we're still looking for rats. Don't see them yet. So the stout bullets are like proptosis. I think. I don't know if they're as good as proptosis, but they have the same impact as proptosis. Same effect. So we used... The you scumbag. I'm mad. I'm actually mad. Not joking. Full metal jacket, I got hit, so would use the blank. Okay, so I get to keep my armor. Um, which is, I mean, functionally very similar. But I'd rather have a blank, because if I lose the armor, we're screwed. We gotta go down to this rat fight faster than I anticipated. Probably by a key. Or the alternative is just don't get hit forehead. Good. Very wise. It was a wise maneuver. Okay. Remember, you can't use blanks on the boss, so you gotta you gotta flawless the boss basically. If you get hit, it'll use armor. Or sorry, if you get hit, it'll use a blank. That's fine as long as we get to keep both of our armor alive. But if we don't keep both of our armor alive, that's where it's gonna start to hit the fan. Rat room. Okay, important first step. I'm mad. I'm very upset because I shot the thing in the first place. Obviously, we'll open this up. Dude, I don't know. I'm kind of of the opinion. We should, like... Do we have anything that could hurt us? I don't think we have any exploding guns. Well. We, get, we know we can buy blanks in the shop, so I, I shouldn't sweat it this much. But it's kind of like it's the principle of the matter, you know what I mean? Man's got to know his limitations. Tomo, you'd like to leave the room? You may you may leave the room. So polite. He gets up, he knocks on the door. He's going to knock on the other side in a second and be like, let me back in. And you're going to be like, your son's indecisive. Wrong. He's thirsty. Okay, no blanks available. Oh my word. That's a lot of damage for one clip of any gun. Also, uh, I can't see? <laughs> it's 
Seems like a mild issue. Um, can't see what he's, uh, where he's aiming. Lucky me. We might just burn to death. Didn't burn to death, but there's our flawless. Really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Turns out dragon fire, pretty solid. Honestly, content with the dragon fire ammo. Yo, it's the devolver synergizes with heavy bullets, I assume, because they published the game named Heavy Bullets. Yes, overdose. Okay, let's see. Heavy bullets. Gungeon, because you don't want to get the actual game response. Uh, heavy bullets no longer decreases shot speed with any gun. Okay, this seems actually pretty decent. We have one key. Did we already open this thing up? I think we already opened this dang old thing up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so thank the Lord there's a blank. Although, this free... You know what? <laughs> Hold on. We're going to open one of these. I want that to be clear. We'll open this up. Trick gun is fine. Check this out. This is a... And I'm being 100% sincere. This is how you know you've reached real, like, greatness in Gungeon, okay? Okay. If this causes us to lose Full Metal Jacket, can I get Give me the gift. It's Tommy Lee Jones um, from The Fugitive. Harrison Ford goes, I'm innocent. Tommy Lee Jones goes, I don't care. That's what we're doing right now. Now, for God's sakes, just don't fall down. There's more than one way to get yourself to the rat floor. Now, I would never want to wish that on anybody there, but it is what it is, dude. We'll use the Evolver temporarily. I feel like we got a, a really, really great setup for the rat fight. Two very, very good uh, rat killing guns, good uh, passive synergies. Decent HP, can't complain. Like, is there a body in him here? So just pay attention. Um, that's an up, and this is an up, and then we go right. Been toying around with the idea, I think we got lucky there, of actually using a blank on this room. I don't think we have to, but I think it could be worthwhile. Was I wrong, by the way? Does the... Uh is the Evolver really uh, not use Yo, familiar floors. Does it not uh, lower uh, or devolve in between rooms, or if you if you switch between it? Guess not. Yikes! So this is our final room. I tell you, this is not a good fit. Whatever. Red ammo will handle it. 30 bullets, who cares? These guns look the same. Okay. Let's do it. Dude, I think we're completely ready. The fact that this also inflicts burn is basically just hilarious. Thanks, Full Metal Jacket. I'm not being insincere with that one. Might as well not take damage. No blanks remain. That's okay. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't even see it coming. It's the one downside of having bullets that are both stout and heavy, is that it's very difficult to see. <laughs> I, I do sometimes run into the problem where I'm like, I can't tell what's happening. Now, Dragonfire was good. It, it would only be responsible of us to put the 
rat to the test with the evolver as well has the added advantage of actually you know being able to parse what the heck is happening on the screen which i think is a it's a real help yeah it's very obvious that you're not going to get hit when you just roll like a madman all right you got me on that one Very hard to tell whether Evolver is uh, better or worse. I'll, I'll give you the obvious opinion. They're both extremely good at killing bosses. Dude, what you should do is just pull out the Devolver and shoot the boss and then hope the boss devolves. Sure, it's only like a 1 in 10 chance, but just fire, you know, 20 bullets. Nothing to worry about. So I disrespected, and that was, I got thrown off my rhythm in a big way there, but um, I disrespected roll bombs. Now I respect them very slightly more because I realize that roll bombs actually uh, do do a pretty good job of breaking some bullets and giving us a little bit of space. We got punch out coming. This has been historically like a pretty good day for me in punch out. This will be our third punch out victory in a row. From making it the punch out, at least. <laughs> we did die on the rat floor last time. Okay, that's my bad. I was slow on the recovery. I know we're not getting the super, that's okay. One of these days I'm gonna figure that one out. While making no effort to figure it out whatsoever. Every time, dude probably just actually take the risk and get the counter in that one final phase minute 13 left lots of HP just wait for that that's an easy win okay So, all right, that one, at least you trade on that one. I'm embarrassed to get hit by just about anything at this point. Ah, oh, that was so bad. Kind of running out of time here. Put up literally no block or dodge there. Don't freak out. We still, like, get yourself in a good rhythm. No cheese. You got him. See, uh, as long as you stay calm, it was not a clean punch-out fight. I got a little tilted, but uh, we got him under control. Nothing to complain about. Except not getting enough rat keys. So, Helix, pretty good. Stinger? What's your synergy? That's that gotta be charm bullets. Ah, right. Gives us a crosshair, I remember. And charming rounds, okay. Then I wanted to see... The heck is this? Briefly absorbs enemy bullets, converts them into ammo. Yo, that seems fantastic. So we should, I mean, we were already on this run, very set. We're, I mean, even more set now. Mimic. 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 Yo, the Emmental, or... I don't know, I mean, we have better guns to use, but it's a very good gun. I probably would have preferred a passive, truth be told, but... Okay, so just... Sneak that through there. Sneak that through there. Sneak that through there. And I'm gonna be honest, we don't need roll bombs. I know I just said like they've they've really started to win me over, but like they're not that good. Ah, I gave you heavy bullets! <laughs> Cause roll bombs took your spot. Whoops! <laughs> ah, you you crazy for this one. I mean, that's obviously my bad. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hydration. 
Either way, we got very few complaints. You know? The Evolver is, is just a wonderful gun. And it's, uh, you know, ammo has not been a problem for us. And I don't know, I've, I've never actually used the Reload Stone, so I, I really got no idea how good it is. Plus, we're carrying the banner here. What does the banner do? Hmm. Companions and charmed enemies are better. Which... Okay, I mean, I'm using the Reload Stone, but I, I accidentally did too much damage to you. I'm sorry. Sorry, we'll, we'll do it again in the future. Don't even worry about it. Um, I don't think we need or, or really derive much value out of those except getting a little extra curse. We should be totally set. Like, in contrast to the last run, uh, or not even the last run, but the last run where we got to the Dragon, I think we got basically no problems ahead of us on this one. I mean, we could buy Monster Blood. Probably start with buying a key, though. And gun forcing seems very foolish right now. If anything, um, uh, I would rather have a chance to get passives and actives. Because we have, like, actually, definitely some of the best guns in the game. Can we just, everybody, give a big uh, thumbs up to the big brain play out of uh, Roll Bombs? You know, I don't like it that much as an item, as mentioned, but you gotta, you know, it's self-survival instinct is out of control. To get wedged in between the bars of the jail cell so that we got tricked into accidentally giving it one of my favorite items. Well, this is dual-wielded, right? Machine pistol and uh, Mac-10? Oh no, pistol machine. Generator. That's Mac-10 was last one. Machine pistol. Machine pistol shots will be linked with electricity. Okay. Interesting. I see that we are definitely fighting Wall Lord. Yo. Don't get too excited yet. But I definitely think... That was a terrible way to lose a blank. I definitely think we could get all... Uh, well, we can get four Flawlesses. Flawlessing the Advanced Dragon is a little bit above my pay grade. And this is how you know your run is good. Because, like, the Machine Pistol is way worse than the Evolver, obviously. Um... But simultaneously, its synergy seems decent, perhaps even better than decent, and our passives are so good. That doesn't always happen on dungeon runs. Our passives are so good that, like, actually nothing can stop us. So we, very smart, very wise idea to use the reload stone against, uh, or while using a weapon that had full ammo, but... You know, it's just the kind of guy I am. The only thing stopping me from flawlessing this floor is honestly going to be the uh, Full Metal Jacket. <laughs> full Metal Jacket seems great, and I actually think, like, if you have a few blanks, it's a great peace of mind item for a, a boss fight flawless. But if you don't have a lot of blanks... Um, you know, is you'd really rather just put it in like a box at the start of the floor and then grab it um, before. Wow, um, grab it just before the boss fight and then put it back. Sir Junkin, yo, this is extremely sick because. Now, many things will happen. First off, it's a very low-level Sir Junkin. So we gotta, you know, create some junk. That's a problem because we're late in the run, but we'll try. We also have the banner, which makes Sir Junkin even stronger than he already is. Junkin, long time no see, brother. He's not very effective right now. I'll just level with you. But he tries hard, you know? Look at this. He's ruthless. 
wasted like 40 bullets on this guy. But we didn't really waste any bullets on that guy, to be honest, because, like, it doesn't matter uh, it, it, what gun we use, you know what I mean? Because, like, uh, we're gonna use, we got all these guns left over, not to mention do I even need to bring it to your attention. We have an incredible gun that has uh, unlimited ammo. And his name is the Ammentaler. I suppose there's not much need to blank if you have full metal jacket. Um, because if, you know, you might as well chance the dodge. Hmm. Tell ya, I think, uh, Valor Morghulis is kind of horrible. I know, uh, it, uh, chance to kill a room on the floor, and if you, you kill the room, then when you enter it, it says, uh, you know, you get an item dropper, so what happens? Valor Morganus? Yeah, there you go. Okay, I mean, incredible. Look at that. Magnificent. Very easy floor. No complaints. Advanced Dragon coming up. Dude, why wouldn't I buy Monster Blood at this point? Natural selection. We're learning. If the player has monster blood, the gun evolves after three unique enemy types. Well, that's useless for me right now. But simultaneously, this would be, I mean, look at the HP is popping off the screen. This is going to be like the fastest dragon or advanced dragon plus rat run we've ever had. Although, it is going to be slower than I originally thought due to the fact that, uh, uh oh, got lucky there. Due to the fact that we cannot see the floor. So I think, uh, I've come to the opinion at least, not everybody's going to agree with me, uh, and the Evolver's final phase, you know it has some enemies out there, but I've come to the uh, opinion at least, that uh, the Dragon actually might be a better room clearer, and the Evolver is just one heck of a boss killer. You could use either for either job and be, like, completely happy, I think. Oh, hello, friend. Why don't you go ahead and shoot me, and I'll suck up all your bullets and turn it into infinite ammo. Not a challenge. <laughs> and we got the map. Okay, so that's pretty nice. Oh, is that a Tomo that wants to come in? I told you he'd be back. Come on, you can, you can knock on the door. You don't have to meow on it like a... You know, you gotta say a secret password or something like that. Uh, I mean, I think this... I think this is the fastest way, is just go down. Come on. Oh, he's licking his lips. Hey, you know what that means. My man's eating good. You liking that dry food, Tomo? Mmm. Ground up deer liver, whatever the heck it even is. I don't know. So we were at the uh, pet store on the weekend. They're getting out of control. I don't, I don't know if it's like because we're on the West Coast. People here will, you know, they're, they're a different breed. You know, they're like, you know, we're, we're the birthplace of cat wine. But, you know, canned food, I'm used to like chicken, tuna, salmon. Sometimes they'll put delight at the end as if it doesn't smell like trash, you know? Mmm, salmon delight. But, either way, this is the first time I've ever looked at the canned food aisle for cats. And uh, I saw stuff like... Asian fusion. I was like, mm, I look. I love my cats. I want them to have a, a rich life, as rich of a life as you can have as a domesticated animal. And I think you can have a pretty rich life. That being said, does the cat like 
Can I don't think your cat can be a foodie. I guess that's where I'm trying to bring the joke. Maybe it's only because cats have never had a chance to be foodies in the past. That's very ignorant of me to assume cat wouldn't want to be a foodie. Oh, you don't want to broaden your horizons? I'm just saying. These cats looking in the mirror. They don't know that the thing in the mirror is also them. I'm not sure if they're that concerned with uh, expanding their palate. Oh, the, uh, this is made with real turmeric, Ruka. I don't know. Turmeric might actually be poisonous to cats. I just chose a specific like a random herb out of nowhere. Technically not an herb, I suppose. Anyway, I'm just saying, maybe they'll love it. If they love the food, that's fine. But there's a, a little bit of a branding issue just from the sense of like, you know, I'm feeding my cats better than I'm feeding myself. So we're gonna have an E, Z, don't shoot. I, I let you take it just because I thought, you know, you, you look like you needed it. If you're the kind of coward that would take a... Lucky me. That would take a pot shot at a dude while he's like, you know, just trying to get through this, you know, work-a-day world. Maybe you need this more than I do. Okay, we got no blanks. But we have to get hit, like, a ton. And that's a great start. Please do some damage. Thank you. Oh, that's the beautiful stuff right there. So we're still gonna be totally fine. We're still, still gonna be totally fine. But... I am starting to get a little mad at myself for damage taken. Honestly, you gotta love that. Dude, reload stone. Next time I try to sleep on this item, call me a coward and a fool. Okay, you gotta go. Maybe like, NL, why'd you point your mouse so weird? Well, that's because I don't have a big mouse pad. So my mouse hit my keyboard and then couldn't move any further to the left. Yo, Junkin, he's going off. Yeah, come get me. You want a piece of me? He's got a little Napoleon syndrome. Don't worry about it. I got a lot of head cannon around this guy. Well, Junkin carries me to yet another victory. It's just that... Easy. Don't let me sleep on Reload Stone again was what I was going to say. I don't, I don't remember if I finished my train of thought. There's two items I disrespect that I've used and should love. One of them is the uh, Reload Stone. The other one is the ticket that summons Gatling Gull. And every time I see the ticket, I go, Hey, it looks like a movie ticket. What am I going to do with a movie ticket down here in a dungeon? Hey, Mamma Mia. Doesn't make any sense. Give me a gun. Or make my bullets a little stouter. But it's actually, like, extremely good. Well, anyway, dude, it's a good day at Gungeon. Very happy we made the punch-out work. Look at that, we're a dang old Terminator. Didn't even notice. <laughs> Drop me off, brother, I'm ready to go. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. See ya!